Bonjour mes amis, it's Curly Guy Hannah and b -b 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 back with another video and today's video is going to be, as you can see by the title of this video, um, five things every natural needs, regardless of if you're a new natural or if you've been natural for years, I just think this is staple things that every natural needs to know. And before you guys ask, um, the products that are in my hair is um, the, let me see if I can show you, oh yes. Um, it's this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In. Um, you guys know I did a video on this line a few videos back. And then um, on top of that, I put Eco Styler Gel. Yes, I said Eco Styler Gel. This is the green olive oil Eco Styler. You guys keep thinking that I canceled Eco Styler, but I did not cancel Eco Styler altogether. I just canceled the gold one because I didn't particularly like it. It did not work for my hair. Um, but I still use Eco Styler Gel, you guys. Um, so yeah, on top of that, I just used the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Um, and this just added some shine and a little bit of extra moisture. So that's what's in my hand right now, if you're wondering. And yes, this is just a little braid right here. Just to switch it up a little bit. I get tired of my hair looking the same way. You guys let me know if you like that. <laughs> but um, this is... Um, a first day wash and go which is why my hair seems to be a lot smaller this is first day and um, this is air dried hair which is why it is a little bit shrunken but that's neither here nor there um, if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, you will not be disappointed I hope not anyway and um, if you're returning welcome back <laughs> um, so yeah if you want to hear what these five things are then just keep watching in a room full of people who don't recognize us I reach out for you and call out your name Oh, I know I should tell you, but you seem so Okay, so, um, one of the biggest issues people have when they're natural is detangling their hair That's a big issue for naturals if you have, like, my type of curls or tighter Or even if you have, like, maybe 3A, 3B type curls Detangling is always an issue. Now, I find that this brush right here is the best brush I've ever used to detangle my hair. It does not pull out a ton of my hair and it detangles my hair without making it do that weird frizzy thing. Um, if your hair has done it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this brush is the Flexi brush. Um, and I did a video on it a while ago too um, from the Curly Hair Solutions. Um, it's where you can get this from, curlyhairsolutions.com, and I absolutely love this brush. I believe it's about $16 or $17, but I've had it for a long time, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. So, you definitely need to get yourself one of these if you don't have it. Um, now, I will say, if you're, if you're a new natural and you have, like, you know, uh, a TWA, then this probably is not going to do much for you, but if you have been natural at least a year and you have a little bit of length, this is the one you need. Moving on to the next thing, um, this has changed my hair routine, my hair, every, this has changed everything about my hair routine, and it is this bottle right here. This one is by Curl Keeper, um, but you don't have to get this particular one, you can find these on Amazon, and what it is, is a 360 um, spray bottle, 360 mist spray bottle, and I absolutely love it. Now, this is the only one I've ever used by Curl Keeper and nothing wrong with it, so I'm going to keep using it. But you can get them on Amazon, like I said, in other places. Um, but what it does is it's a continuous spray. So it sprays like a mist. Oh, my God. And it sprays like the perfect amount of water, whether you want to just lightly dampen your hair or if you want to saturate your hair. It's perfect for either one of those. Um, and I like it when I refresh my curls because it does spray a mist so my hair is not getting like soaking wet. I will, I'm not, I know you're not supposed to ever say, never say never, but I don't see myself not using this product, I mean not using this bottle in the future, ever. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So you definitely need to get yourself one of those. The next thing I'm going to say you need, now this is not a requirement, but for me this has changed the game dramatically for me. And this is the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder. I think I also have a video about this. Um, just search it on my channel. Um, or I'll try to link it somewhere or something or down below. Um, but this stuff detangles my hair so well before I even go in with shampoo and everything. So I only use this on wash day and I don't use it every wash day. Um, so it is an investment. I believe it's 20 something dollars. Um, but I absolutely love this. Ever since I found that I've been using it and this is actually the same bottle, my first bottle. And it's 
only about halfway gone at this point. So it will last you a while. So definitely look into it if you have the extra coins to splurge. It is 12 fluid ounces, so do it that as, as you will. <laughs> Um, the next thing and probably the most important thing that you guys need to have is a routine. Let me say that again. The next thing and probably the most important thing you need to have is a routine and a regimen. Like you cannot, you will not be a successful, well I, don't, I won't say you will not be a successful, but the best naturals have a routine and a regimen. And what I mean by that is like, say for instance mine personally. Um, ever since I got into nursing school, things have shifted up a little bit. So what I do, Sunday is my wash day. So that's when I shampoo or whatever, get my hair deep cleansed to start fresh for the week. And if you guys are wondering, I do shampoo my hair. In the summertime, I do shampoo my hair once a week, every week. Um, so yeah, just to clarify that. But uh, you definitely need to have it set up in a organized way. So like I said, I shampoo on Mondays, I mean on, I shampoo on Sundays and then um, I wear that wash and go or whatever style for about three days and then on Wednesday I'll co-wash. Um, and the co-wash I've been using lately is this one by Pantene, the Gold Series Deep Hydrated Co-Wash. I absolutely love this you guys. I found it at Dollar General and it was on clearance. I think I got two of these for four dollars. I think they were on clearance for two dollars a piece um, and I really really love that. It, it's definitely really moisturizer but it does cleanse my scalp and get off some of the buildup. I'm not gonna lie guys, I haven't found a co-wash that removes everything from my scalp but that one does a pretty good job um, of removing most of it. At least to tie me over until my next wash day which is Sunday again. So I wear that the rest of the week and then I just refresh my wash and go or do whatever. Um, but you definitely need to have it kind of down to a science, especially if you're in a program like me. Like Wednesdays are my basically my freer days, so that's why I choose to co-wash on that day. Um, and that's been working for me, that's my routine so far, and that's probably the same thing I'm going to carry over into the winter. I don't know if I'll shampoo as much in the winter because I may not need to, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. To the fifth and last thing, and this is probably equally as important. Um, from a mental standpoint, you guys need to have confidence. Like if you're going to go natural or if you're already natural, especially going natural, if you're going to big chop, you definitely need to have confidence because once you chop that hair off, you can't put it back. I mean, you can put extensions in or whatever, but you cannot put that hair back. Like once you chop it off, it's gone until it gradually grows back. So you need to be confident enough in your stuff to say I don't need this hair to define me which I don't need my hair to define me I like it and it is an extension of me but if I didn't have it I could cut it off today and I would still be fine because it's, at the end of the day it's just hair and it will grow back but we're not gonna do that that's what we're not gonna do <laughs> um, but yeah you need to be confident and then if you are natural and maybe you went natural and your hair is not the expected texture that you thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie guys, when I first went natural, my hair was very hard to detangle and I was having some issues with it. And I thought, this is not going to work for me. If my hair is going to be like this, I'm going back to a relaxer or I'm cutting it. Um, because I just could not deal. And you guys have to be patient because when you're transitioning, that is not what your real texture is going to look like. This is my hair 100% natural, um, so there's no chemical or anything in my hair. Um, and I found that once I got rid of the relaxed ends, my hair started coming into its own. It started having more shape. It was more manageable. So if you're transitioning, get rid of those ends. Don't hold on to them no longer than you have to. I know a lot of people are obsessed with having length and stuff. Later for that, um, it gets greater later, honestly. Truly. <laughs> but yeah, don't be so focused on the length because that will come with time. I've been natural now for seven years, a little over seven years, and I've cut my hair in between and my hair is still waist. Let me see. Yeah. So my hair is still pretty long. Let me see if I can show you. So yeah. My hair is still waist length, which I will be straightening my hair in the winter so you guys can really, really see it. But I did just cut an inch off of my hair, if you guys recall in my hair trimming video, um, how to trim like a pro video. But yeah, even with that, my hair is still flourishing and it's still pretty long. Um, 
So I'm not obsessed with length. Yes, I do like my length and I do want it to grow longer, but don't focus on length, you guys. Focus on having healthy hair, retaining um, the length that you're getting, and you know, just overall take care of your hair. But you must have a regimen and you must have confidence. And I just made this video because um, there, I've been talking to a lot of people since I moved to this new area. A lot of people ask me about my hair, which is to be expected. And now all of a sudden people are interested in going natural or transitioning and stuff like that. And I just thought I'd make this video because it's still very much relevant today. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much that. You guys have seen my hair change so much throughout the years. Whew, started from the bottom, now we're here. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys those tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And without further ado, I'm going to give you guys my bop of the day. Okay, guys, that was Do Better. Um... And I will leave the name on the screen, but I absolutely love that song. I've been listening to it every time I work out because the words are just so funny to me. But anyway, yep, that was my bop of the day, and I hope you guys enjoyed that. Go check that song out, definitely. And um, I think that's about it. So, as always, guys, remember, if you can't keep it curly, keep it classy. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.